Hi everyone, I thought I, I thought my last video was gonna be the last one for the year, but obviously not. Um, I'm hoping this will be a short video. It's not real in depth. However, it does, um, it does have some important messages in it. And I really hope that you can glean from it, you can you can grow from it in some way, some part of it. That's what it's all about for me. Um, I just want to serve the Lord and I want to help others in the body of Christ. So, um, the, this video is called Being a Child of God. And I think it's so important that we understand that we are children. What does it mean to be a child? I mean, think about your own kids. Think about if you had kids. Um, if you if you couldn't have kids and you have fur babies, think about that. You know, we, we have to discipline. We have to be patient. We have to... Uh, to teach and sometimes it's not fun at all but I'm going to try to stick to my paper because when I do that I do I do a whole lot better I don't rabbit trail too much so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with my scriptures like I like to always do because I feel like if you base things in scripture um, that helps so much I mean, I mean you have to do that if you don't have something based in scripture you know you, you might as well just not even make a video <laughs> It has to align with the spirit of the gospel, the spirit of the Bible, okay? So, ch being a child of God, the first scripture I'm sharing is Matthew 8, 3. Uh, Verily I say unto you, unless you be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. The next verse is from James, James 1, verses 2 through 4. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But the patient, but let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Okay, and here we go. I also am going to share. I'm back in John. I'm back in John 15. I I can't hardly stay away from it. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to read the whole passage about where Jesus explains, he, you know, he, he shares a parable, an example. He's trying to explain to us how the kingdom works. Okay, so this is John 15, verses 1 through 8. And I, and, and, and I've realized I'm, I've got new King James, and I'm using verses from King James. <laughs> and I've got some scriptures from the NESB, which is the one I usually use. Um, we have every translation of the Bible in the world in this house, my husband and I. But anyway, I'm going to read this from the NESB. I'm just going to read it. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes it so that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because... Of the word which I have spoken to you, abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot be, cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, so neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine; you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, bears he bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away as a branch and dries up. And they gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples. Very good passage, very strong and solid, isn't it? All right, so what I want to talk about shortly here is um, the importance, you know, being a child of God, you know. Um, I, um, I, w I don't know, many of you know, I, I, went, I went away. <laughs> I haven't been here for a while making videos. Well, there's a good reason for that. Um, it was it was a time of trial for me. It was a time of pruning, like I just read in John. It was a time where the Lord had to take me aside and say, "Okay, we got to do inventory here. 
you know, let's let's check you out and see if you've got some things right and wrong. What's what's right and wrong in, in the things that you're sharing in your videos and on your blog posts, Kim? So the Lord and I, um, after pr much prayer, um, we went through and we, um, uh, I went through the videos, not every single video, but for a time it was like the Lord was just like holding me back. Don't make any more. Seek me. And I have to, I have to tell you straight up. Okay. Um, let's see. I, I, I'm going to stick to my, to my page. I need to go here and read because when I stick one, to my, to my pages that I print out, I don't go off on these crazy rabbit trails and I can get to the point, uh, that I want to make much better. Okay. So here, let's see. Okay, as many of you know, I stopped making videos for a while. I went through a very heavy trial. Uh, there were many people who didn't like what I had to say about wearing masks and getting vaccinated for COVID-19. And it was very painful for me to see many people just walk away from me and discount me. And that was a very difficult time. But this is exactly what Jesus told, what, told us we would go through, you know. I stand on the Word of God about the things that I've said, and I still stand on the Word of God. We don't need to be rebellious. You know, we don't, we don't need to be stirring up problems. So long as the laws of the land are not in absolute disobedience and direct disobedience to God and Jesus, we should follow those laws. We are told to do that. And so I do believe in wearing your masks. I don't have a problem with the vaccines. Perhaps some people do. Um, I just, I just haven't had a problem with it. And, and I feel like we're here in 2023, almost in 2024. And we are seeing that a lot of things that people said about all that stuff is just, it didn't happen. It hasn't happened. Now, I'm not saying that we're not going to have some rough stuff coming. You know, we don't know. We have to keep praying. We have to keep watching. And that's what's important. But I went through that trial and that is exactly what we're supposed to go through. And, you know, that scripture in James says, count it all joy when you go into trials. Because um, it means you, you, you're going to grow. And honestly, though, the, you, you have an option, you know, when you get, when something happens, like if you lose all your, the majority of your friends or whatever, uh, and you're going through a really rough trial, you can either grow or you can give out, you know. Um, if we grow and mature, Rather than allow the pain of the trial to break us, which is giving in, we will come out with more to offer to the body of Christ. And that's what I want to do. That's really what I want to do. Um, people disappear out of my life, but I think uh, a lot of you have noticed that some of the watchmen are gone. Of course, I mean, I guess I people consider me a watchman. I was, I was gone for a bit. Um, but I pray, just like I've come back, you know, uh, I pray that, that the others will too. That they'll come back and they'll have more to share good things. Uh, things that align with the gospel and, and that they will have grown. I know I've grown. I've matured a lot. I've gained a lot of weight. So I've definitely grown. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just got to put some humor in there. Uh, I'm working on that one. But anyway... I have also just grown in maturity in Christ, and I'm just so grateful. And I do have joy about it at this point. It wasn't always that way, for sure. Okay, uh, some of my trial was exactly, um, you know, uh, me. Well, let me go back here. Hmm. Yeah, I pray so much that... Uh, that many will come back and teach and warn, so long as they align with the word of God. That that's one thing I meant to say too. As long as as long as the watchmen come back, they maybe we've disappeared and kind of fallen away, and you know, well, I'm not saying fallen away. I'd like to say um, we're just not making a lot of videos, maybe for a while, or saying a lot of stuff, or putting blog posts up. Um, my hope is that all of us have just been being tried and being pruned, and that we're growing. And that when we come back out, we're going to be talking more and more. And we're going to align with the God's word. We're going to share more and be more mature. 
um, I was very, very concerned. You know, it was like the Lord took me through this period of, you know, I was like, Lord, am I right? You know, are the things that I've said uh, in my videos, in my blog posts, um, Lord, show me in your word if I've met, if I've, if I've been in error because I'm, I'm a person, you know, and, um, don't, don't get me wrong. When I make my videos and my blog posts, I pray. I do. I, I do. Absolutely. Um, I don't do things just off the cuff. You know, I, I, I really do pray about things, but, but we are growing children of God. You know, we're children. This means that we must do inventory. Uh, of all that we share from time to time or what we believe or understand in scripture because we grow. If a person believes that they are fully matured and can learn no more about the Bible, okay, and that becomes that person becomes dangerous and useless. I mean, what did Jesus say here? He said flat out in Matthew 8, 3, you know, Unless you be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So once you know, know it all and you're grown, you become dangerous and useless. You become that branch that gets cast into the fire. That's just the way it is. All right. Um, so I'm back and... <laughs> the majority of my videos I've made public again. I'm going to work on my blog. Uh, I still got a lot of the things that I want to... There's there's a few things that I haven't gone through yet. So that's a little bit slower and it's hard to get to my to my blog. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I realize that not every uh, dream that God has given me um, that, that the Lord would gave me the meaning for it. I'm not sure where I came to believe that if you get a dream that you must also get an interpretation. But I did. I, I, I came to this belief and, and and this is one of the things that the Lord worked with me in that during this trial is um, is that that's not true. You know, God doesn't always give you the, the, the interpretation and the meaning of your dream. Sometimes he'll give you a dream and you just, he just, he, get, he gives you what he wants to give you because he's God. And we're children, and we just have to trust that. Um, I do think I have the meaning uh, of a lot of my dreams. A lot of it, I do. But there are some things that I don't, and, um, you know, and, and that's been my growth. I just keep seeking the Lord like a little child. Um, you know, uh, I don't know what that says there. But, you know, God has a reason for the things he does. He doesn't give me interpretation for everything. He, and, and I'm sure it's that way for others. And we just have to trust that um, and keep praying about those things. You know, if we know that, if we really, truly believe that the Lord's given us a dream or a vision or he's spoken to us, we've got to pray about that. Even if we don't understand it fully, we need to keep praying about it. And I want to just, you know, give an analogy here. Because think about it, it's, it's real simple. When we were kids, there were things that our parents told us and things that they didn't tell us. Some things they explained later. That is how a relationship between our father is, okay? And we as children, you know, we're just children. We need to remain children. We've got to trust that father knows. Father knows best, you know? So, I put my videos back up, and, you know, I love Miranda Devon so dearly. She's such a sweetheart. She has that wonderful site where she puts everybody's dreams and visions on there. And I told her a while back to, to take all the things that I had submitted to her um, to take them down because I was really wanting to examine this, and that was part of my trial, and she hesitated. She didn't, wanna, she didn't want to, uh, to take them off, but she did honor my request. And I'm hoping that I can submit some things again to her. That site's great. Um, you know, you gotta when, we, when you go to the site and you read uh, all these different dreams and visions throughout the different de decades and time periods. You know, it's not like you believe all of it. You just pray about it. You know, it's very very fascinating. And it's a wonderful place to go. I can't think of the name of it, but if I I will find it 
and I will put uh, uh, the link in my description in this video. All right. Um, two things that I realized through the trial that I went through with the whole COVID thing about masks and vaccines and all that and everybody, everything got really crazy uh, for a while there. And I just lost, I lost a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people stopped talking to me. Let's, let's just put it that way. Um, but there are two things that I learned. We are children. We are ever growing. As I stated, you must be sure what you've shared publicly is in line with God's word. Sometimes you size out of shoes when you grow <laughs> and you need to buy a new pair of shoes. So some of the blog posts and the videos, uh, a lot of them are interpretations. Um, I will be taking down on my, po on my, on my blog uh, and there are a few videos, a couple, not too many, but I've had to take them down. But the second thing I've learned again is the same thing. It's almost like another side of this coin of that we are children. We are children. We who believe in Jesus Christ and have come to the Father by our faith in Him, Jesus Christ. You know, we are His children. So, if there are some mistakes, okay, that we're not proud of, like say uh, there's a video I made a, you know, a decade ago. Um, I may go ahead and post it if it aligns with the, with the spirit of, a, of the true holy message of, of Christ, even if it's a little off because God is gracious. You know, grace has its place in our lives. Don't be confused. Now I'm not saying, you know, we can't be perfect. We cannot be perfect. But we're children. We're always growing, okay? And I think about my kids uh, when they were little, and they would recite Bible scriptures, and they might miss a word or two. But they they got most of it out. I'm not going to get rid of that out of my mind because they still did really well with it. And I, I hope that makes sense. Um, many things that I thought must remain private in my in my blogs, and my videos, um, they don't have to remain private now. Uh, I am very accountable to the Lord for what I say and what I share. And that's the way it is for all of us. You know, we're all accountable to God. And we're also accountable for what we hear and what we read and what we believe. Okay? Um, so if I say something and it seems out of line with the Word of God, I hope you won't come at me real hard, like, you know, mean-like. I hope you'll just gently tell me, say, hey, you know, when you said this, I'm not sure about that. And you show me some scripture and I will pray about that. You know, that that's important. See, yeah, we're children. We're in the same classroom. We've got the same teacher. And we aren't perfect and we're all learning we are growing. I'm sharing this because the Lord wants us to share our testimonies of trials. I believe that, you know, and I have grown and matured. I've learned some things and I've gotten strengthened. Um, and uh, as long as we're here on this earth, I hope that all of us realize that we have a purpose. You're important, you know, you are an important person. You're here. If God hasn't taken you yet, he still has work for you to do. And you may not feel like it's important, but it is. Even if it's just a smile at people when you go to the store. Boy, I tell you, sometimes a smile changes my day. It really does. You know, God uses very, very small things. He wastes nothing. And um, so if you don't feel like you got a lot to offer, you don't feel very important, I encourage you, don't, don't, don't feel that way. You know, you're still here, and we go through trials, we help one another, we learn, and we're growing. We're still here together. As the body of Christ, let us love one another, encourage one another, and do what we can while we have time left to do it here. Um, I pray that you feel the powerful love and the joyous grace of the Father in your life. I truly do. Um, I hope you enjoy my videos. Uh, I hope that you, um, uh, that you, uh, look at my blog and 
you know, I'm going to keep working on that too. Uh, and, uh, and share things that are beneficial, things that benefit the body of Christ, people that you know. And the body of Christ is simply Christians, you know, people that are truly Christians, people who are trying to live for the Lord and do right and, and reach the lost and do the Great Commission. Um, trials happen. And sometimes we have to go away for a little bit. And sometimes God has to prune us. And I pray that everyone that has kind of disappeared... I pray that they are getting pruned and that they will soon come out and they will have good things to share with us um, and that we will all be supporting one another. God bless you all.